can light up the display. So the one that we're looking at right here is a G-Sync Ultimate unit with HDR10 support at up to 1,000 nits peak brightness. You know what? I think Linus may have just leaked a future NVIDIA G-Sync monitor. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Superpower User. My name is Stanley, and today I want to talk about future G-Sync 4K monitors. So I was watching this Linus Tech Tips video of him going behind the scenes at NVIDIA to see how they do all the G-Sync testing and certification. And if you haven't watched that video, I highly recommend it. Link's in the description down below. But in one of the scenes, they've got uh, the setup where they're testing the, color, the brightness uniformity of these G-Sync panels. And I'm looking at this panel, I'm thinking to myself, this looks like a pretty darn big panel. And Linus mentions that it's a G-Sync Ultimate, uh, 384 local dimming zones, HDR10, blah, 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 but he doesn't actually say the size of this panel. So what I do, I take a screenshot, uh, measure based off of the GTX 1060 on the side and scale up and to see how big is you know, the diagonal on, on this panel is. And it looks like to me that this might be a 31 and a half inch panel or a 32 inch uh, 4K display. So perhaps Linus and NVIDIA may have just leaked a 32 inch future G-Sync panel. So why is this important? Well, uh, first of all, there are no 4K 32 inch G-Sync panels. There's only a handful of G-Sync Ultimate panels out there. So we know of the 27 inch G-Sync Ultimate panel, uh, both Acer and Asus have one. Um, we also have a 35 inch ultra wide uh, G-Sync panel. And the third G-Sync Ultimate panel we've got is the 65 inch BFGD, which had been announced a while back. Other than that, other than those three sizes, uh, that's it. So if this indeed is a 32 inch G-Sync Ultimate panel, it's pretty significant. The 32 inch 4K G-Sync high refresh rate panel isn't unprecedented. In fact, there's been rumors of this going around for a long time now, but to fully understand the whole history of this, we gotta take a little trip. So we'll hop in the DeLorean, tighten your seatbelts, we're going back in time. Back in 2016, Computex, almost three years ago now, Asus showed off its very first 4K 144 Hertz monitor uh, using DisplayPoint 1.3. So this was pretty groundbreaking at the time because up until that point, we had 1080p monitors and 1440p monitors that could do 120 hertz or 144 hertz, but no 4K monitors doing more than 60. This was a limitation due to bandwidth, and you gotta remember, we were on uh, DisplayPort 1.2 at the time. So uh, this was only a prototype at the time, so we, we got to see it, but then Six months later, during CES 2017, ASUS officially announced its new monitor called the ROG Swift PG27UQ. This was a 4K 144Hz G-Sync monitor that was um, you know, 27 inches. And of course, this was the world first. It was, uh, and still is really, one of the best monitors on the market. Shortly after that, Acer also announced in uh, their version of the monitor in April of 2017. So we knew that AU Optronics was the supplier of these panels and that uh, the panel would have a full array back backlight options for the 27 inch part, meaning you had 384 zones of backlight, uh, local dimming, HDR support, 600 to about a thousand nits of brightness, 144 hertz refresh rate. This panel was slated to go into production around July of 2017, and the estimate was that it would have a quarter three release date. It was also said that AUO was working on a 32 inch HDR IPS type AHVA panel with the similar features as the 27 inch. And it was said that the 32 inch would go into production shortly after the 27 inch, so quarter four, 2017. So quarter three, 2017 came and went, and the only update that we got was that 
Uh, there was a delay and it was expected that production would start in November of 2017 and the, the actual displays or the monitors would have a release date of sometime in quarter one 2018. Uh, it was still said that the 32 inch version was in the works and that the 32 inch version was not planned until perhaps quarter three of 2018 since the 27 was so delayed. Well, why was the 27 inch delayed? Just based off of Linus's video, it's probably safe to say that the reason why it was delayed was because of all the certification and all the additional testing and research and development that went into the panel to make sure that it was G-Sync certified. Um, all of this extra work certainly delayed the 27 inch and understandably pushed back the 32 inch. Fast forward to May of 2018, and still the monitors were not out yet. So uh, it was said to, the monitors were set to come out in quarter one, quarter two, and you know we're into quarter two, and the RG Swift, Swift PG27UQ and the X27 were still not released. But in the end, they were actually released a couple months after, a few months after that. So they eventually did come out. It was around this time when the 32 inch version of the panels kind of disappeared from the roadmap. So you can imagine I've been waiting for this 32 inch for a long time and it just disappeared. So I was utterly crushed. So we went almost a whole year without hearing much about the 32 inch panel. Uh, I thought that perhaps because they had so much difficulties and delays with the 27 inch that they had completely cut the 32 inch from the roadmap. And it was actually until, it wasn't until May of 2019 this year when it showed up again. So the article says the 32 inch IPS Ultra HD panel with 144 Hertz and full array local dimming reappears on the roadmap. So in short, the last update was back in October of 2018 and that it was expected to go into production of 2018, but then it had either slipped or had been canned completely uh, from the roadmap, but then it's popped up again on the roadmap with a mass production date of quarter four, 2019. And of course, that would mean that we wouldn't get panels until December of 2019 or quarter one, 2020. And then of course, a mini LED version is also expected to be available at some point but that isn't until 2020. So what's the takeaway? Well, we know that AU Optronics supplies the 27 inch 144 Hertz panels for Acer and Asus. We also know that the 32 inch panel has been rumored for almost three years now, and it's been in the works for a very long time. Of course, there's a lot of delays and a lot of complications, but, and, and it's disappeared from the roadmap, but now it's reappeared again and perhaps we might be getting it as early as this year, in end of 2019. This is very exciting because as soon as AU Optronics pushes out this panel, we know that Acer and Asus will be putting out a 32-inch 4K HDR10 blah 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 monitor with, and, and, and it's going to be very similar to the 27-inch, but just in the bigger size. The 32-inch, in my opinion, 4K monitor is the perfect size. Uh, the 27 is just too small for that 4K experience. And you know, you can see behind me, this is an Acer Predator XB321HK monitor. It's a 32 inch 4K monitor, G-Sync capable, but it's only 60 Hertz. To this day, there is no 144 Hertz 4K monitors at 32 inches. And it kind of blows my mind because you've got 1440p 32 inch monitors at high refresh rates. You've got 27 inch 4K 144 Hertz monitors, but you don't have 4K 32 inch 144 Hertz. It just doesn't exist. Why not? I mean, 4K is perfect at 32 inches. I purchased this back in 2016, February of 2016. I've had it for over three years now. Love this thing, love the size. Really want a high refresh rate version. I've been waiting and waiting for this monitor and you know, holding my breath, going blue in the face. 
waiting for this monitor. And so I can guarantee you that once the 32 inch 4K 144 hertz panel comes out and Acer and Asus, whoever pushes out this monitor, I'll be the first one in line to pick this thing up because I've been waiting for three years for this thing. And uh, make sure to stay tuned if you want to, you know, the first look. I'll also put out a video doing an overview of, you know, taking a look at this thing once, once, once I've got it in my hands. But anyway, I think I'm done ranting. We'll see you in the next one.